Vault Hunters 3rd Edition, an amazing mod pack with over 2.7 million downloads and you want to know how to install it. Honestly, I don't blame you because this mod pack is pretty freaking amazing. It centers around the dimension called the Vault, which has different mysteries and dangers and tons of different stuff to explore, including collecting all 25 unique artifacts, which then takes you to a final challenge with the mod pack. It's, it's really, really cool and one that you should definitely check out. But I'm guessing you already know that because that's why you found this video. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. In order to get Vault Hunter's third edition, we're going to need to get the Curse Forge launcher. To download the Curse Forge launcher, you're going to want to go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our complete text guide on getting Curse Forge, but we're going to be covering everything in this video as well. So don't worry too much about it. Just once you're here, click on the download Curse Forge button to be taken to the official CurseForge download page. Once you're here, you want to click on the Download Stand Alone button to start downloading CurseForge right away. And while this is downloading, how to mention our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start a Vault Hunters 3rd Edition server for you and your friends in just a few clicks. Literally, with our one-click mod pack installer at Simple Game Hosting, once you get your server, you just click on Vault Hunters 3rd Edition, select the version you want, and click install. From there, it installs onto the server, and all you've got to do is is join it. You can also use your server for other mod packs if you want. You aren't just limited to the Vault Hunters 3rd Edition mod pack though. There are hundreds of other mod packs that you can install with one click. You can add your own mods, add plugins, or just host a vanilla server. The option is up to you. And if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support and a high quality help center to help you out. So go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyc slash sgh to start your very own Vault Hunters 3rd Edition server or any other kind of Minecraft server you want the simple way. CurseForge is now downloaded. We can go ahead and minimize our browser and it's going to be located in your downloads folder. I'd recommend moving this to your desktop, but you don't have to. Double click on the CurseForge Windows installer that you downloaded. It's then going to open up the CurseForge installer just like this, where you want to click on Next, click on I have read and agree to the terms of service here, click on Next again, and now CurseForge will install. It is literally that easy to get CurseForge up and running. Just click next a few times, accept the terms, and boom, CurseForge will install and open up right like so. Once it's open, what we want to do is click on Minecraft here. It's grayed out right now. That's because we've not set up CurseForge for it yet. Let's go ahead and click on Minecraft. Just click on Standard Recommended here and click Continue. Once it's ready, we can go ahead and click up here at the top and type in Vault Hunters. Now you could type in Vault Hunters 3rd Edition, but generally when you type in Vault Hunters, it is the first one right here. Vault Hunters 3rd Edition. Come over here and click the Install button and it will begin installing. You can wait here for it to install, but I like to go back to the My Mod Packs tab by clicking the little Minecraft icon over here at the left and watch it install here. After it isn't done installing, there will be a play button here when you hover over it. Click on that and the Minecraft launcher will open. You will need to log in to the Minecraft launcher and that's perfectly okay to do that. This is the default Minecraft launcher, the same one that you use to play, you know, an Optifine installation, for example, or Minecraft Vanilla, most importantly. It's the exact same launcher that you use for that. It just opens up via CurseForge instead of, you know, opening it up right like so, right? It's the same exact process as that. So much so you actually can't open up the other Minecraft launcher with this one open because they're the same. Nevertheless, once you're in here, you'll see Vault Hunters is automatically selected. Go ahead and click play, click play again. And now Minecraft is going to open up with Vault Hunters 3rd Edition installed. This is a really, really cool mod pack. And I'm honestly very, very excited that we we're able to do a video on it. The vault is such an amazing dimension. And uh, yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and just let it load up and I'll meet you on the main menu. From the main menu, we can either select single player or multiplayer. While we were getting things going, I went ahead and set up a simple game hosting server with Vault Hunters 3rd Edition installed on it. And we can go ahead and join right on in to get started playing the mod pack. And what's really, really cool is if you had done this, your friends could join this server as well and you could play Vault Hunters 3rd Edition together, which is just truly amazing. And I believe a lot of mod packs are best experienced together, this one included. In game, we can go ahead and like I said, start exploring. I'm not actually, uh too familiar with how you get to the vault dimension. Look at the half slab stone. I love it. Uh, but everything is covered here in the vault hunter encyclopedia. As you can see, getting ready and gathering the things you need to really get things going. Are we already in the vault? I probably should know this. Uh, I'm sorry that I don't. But nevertheless, you now have Vault Hunters 3rd Edition and you can start exploring and adventuring with it. We will see you in the next video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And my name is Nick and I'm out. Peace.